succeeding in the U.S. Mali and having that opportunity to come and practice in the United States, you are exposed to doctors from all over the world. That's the beauty of the American system. You are the hospital and you'll work side by side with a doctor who was born, who is an American, went to American schools, a doctor from Brazil who came, passed the exams, a doctor from India, a doctor. It's an international, the hospital is an, a global village. You will find doctors from all over the world. And who comes here? The best minds. So you have an opportunity to be in an environment where you, you, you're in the best minds. That for me is, 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 is wonderful. That, that in itself is the reward. Second point. At this point here, I say it with tongue in cheek. Despite all the challenges, despite all of that, at the end of it, the reward is worth it. The reward is worth it. The salary, the lifestyle, the respect is worth it. You'll get that in India and wherever else, it's there. But it adds. It adds. So why? For me, some people put the why, the salary. But for me, that's second and third. The why is the opportunity to be in an environment that is intellectually stimulating. I'm at the very end of a very uh, tip of despair in research medical education. Not that I'm putting down India or, 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 or Saudi Arabia or anywhere else, all right? But the mere fact, when you go to your hospital, everybody in the hospital is from India, from that district, mostly. So the gene pool is rather, you know, enclosed. You go to a hospital, I, I, I'm going to go to the hospital after this lecture, you'll be surprised, I'm, I'm going to see United Nations there. So you, you, you're able to enjoy from that culture, from that, uh, the way the different minds see a problem and you're able to learn constantly. You know, and so that's 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 the reason. That's one of, for me, the most important reason, and and and, and why. And it, and the secondly, you may decide I'm not going to take, I'm not going to come to America, but I just want to pass the U.S. Mali and have that certificate to put it on my wall. The U.S. Mali has become the standard of education around the world. So you put that certificate on your wall. It's a, a star on your shoulder. So there are many reasons why, but it's very personal and up to you, for example. Uh, I, <laughs> to, to sort of challenge you with this, though it's not important, but we are human beings. And, 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 and at the end of it, we want to be rewarded. We're all human beings, we want to be rewarded. In Houston, another student of mine, who's an emergency physician, uh, I sometimes, now we do work together, emailed me a week ago. This guy is starting a collection of exotic cars. He's about, what, 29? He's not even 30 years old. The reward, his hobby is not medicine. He did medicine to get to his hobby. He confessed. His hobby is cars, exotic cars. So his dream was always to have a warehouse and be able to afford to buy these expensive exotic cars and put it in that warehouse and just enjoy the beauty of driving and admiring it. So at age 30, he's already bought three Lamborghini. Each one of those cars worth $200,000. And he's excited. That doesn't excite me. I don't know if it excites you, but that's not what it's all about. It's about the joy of learning, the joy of of, of being a better person. So for me, that's the why.